Some utility work going on here that cuts across the trail. I can hear the trucks in the background. You can see that the, the trail is fairly well packed. Snow right now after about nine inches of snow over the weekend. A lot of folks use this trail for various activities. stay on the landing trail all the way to the landing as you can see this is a really really flat easy to hike trail probably one of the more popular ones in the musquash I'd have to guess uh, I don't have, I don't have data to back that up but it sure seems like it's used a lot bit of a wet slippery here area here it's about 37 degrees Fahrenheit so probably was ice last few days it got down to the negative number so probably thawing out now see I'm wearing micro bikes anyway I'm not sure I would need them today but you know just in case a bear chases me I'll have better footing just kidding we're now arriving at the junction to the Heron Trail, which is just around that corner and we're facing there, led to the cellar holes. Um, as you can see here, there's a couple of cellar holes up there. But we're going to continue to the right here on the landing trail so that we can reach the landing itself. Coming up to one of my favorite spots on the Musquash trails. Cut right across the part of the swamp here. And in the summer, it's a nice spot to stop and watch for heron or other animals, <laughs> beavers, things like that. Still on the landing trail here, getting into a, a little bit of a wooded area before we hit the landing, reach the landing. It's kind of nice. Uh, I like seeing the snow on the trees. Approach the landing, we get another uh, view of the swamp. And now we're at the landing itself. There's a fire pit in the middle there covered with snow. Not too much wood stockpiled at the moment. Some over here. 
here though. Several trails accessible from this point. The Betty Mac Trail, as you can see there, and the Overlook Trail is available over there to the right. Got a couple of bullet holes in this uh, sign, this junction. like to call this trail Musquash Main Street. It's the widest, most flattest, probably the most used trail. Although parking is pretty limited now at the trailhead. Reach the deer trails from this trail. Those are a little a bit more of a climb. Actually, the highest point in Musquash is off of one of the deer trails. It's another way to reach the deer trails here, even though it's not marked other than this little tape, piece of tape. But uh, the trail goes up here to the right and then swings around to the left and up and over uh, i'm not sure why it isn't marked here but it's easy to get to we're not far enough from the trailhead as you can see uh utilities doing some work here pretty much uh out of the way though of the trails so just that one crossing there there's a road a new road that was made for gravel to get the vehicles through but uh, that was it that was our hike and uh, it's a really short one and you can see why I consider the landing trail Main Street there's so many different trails you could take from the landing trail and if you choose to stay on it it's a, it's a nice trail in itself like to call this trail Musquash Main Street. It's the widest, most flattest, probably the most used trail. Although parking is pretty limited now at the trailhead. Reach the deer trails from this trail. Those are a little a little bit more of a climb. Actually, the highest point in Musquash is off of one of the deer trails. It's 
another way to reach the deer trails here, even though it's not marked other than this little tape, piece of tape. But uh, the trail goes up here to the right and then swings around to the left and up and over. Uh, I'm not sure why it isn't marked here, but it's easy to get to. We're not far enough from the trailhead. As you can see, uh, utilities doing some work here. Pretty much uh, out of the way though of the trails. So just that one crossing there, there's a road, a new road that was made for gravel and stones to get the vehicles through. But uh, that was it. That was our hike and uh, it's a really short one and you can see why I consider the landing trail Main Street. There's so many different trails you could take from the landing trail and if you choose to stay on it. It's a nice trail in itself.